Creep of the week. This one, I, I, I've I been sitting on the story because I just can't understand, like, how you could be so, I don't know, messed up, right? So what happens is um, there's a family. This uh, It's like a, a guy and his wife, and they have a little baby, like brand newborn, right? And they are smelling this weird chemical smell in their house. And all of a sudden, their baby starts getting sick. And then the dad starts throwing up. And all this stuff's happening. And it's like, and they ke- they can't figure out where this the smells come from. They've changed out vents. They've changed out, like, the AC thing. It just, like, everything they kept trying, and they couldn't figure it out. Well, come to find out, it was actually a neighbor that was a chemistry student. Oh, shit. He was uh, injecting a solution of like this clear liquid and putting it in like the the door frame like mm. outside kind of like injecting it into a crack so it would get into the house these people started losing clumps of hair what uh this guy is like wondering what the hell's happening because his baby's like leaving clumps of hair his on the pillow and they're like babies don't lose hair this is they're supposed <laughs> Sorry, to be getting hair so this is I'm like this is so and all of a sudden he's losing hair and they're throwing up and they're sick and headaches and my it's crazy well he sets up a little camera in a in a potted plant right outside of his house and captures you can watch the video you see uh, a Zhu Ming Li, a Chinese chemistry student, is injecting an opioid solution through the gap of his neighbor's door. You can literally watch him on the stairs filling up the syringe, and then he walks up and he kneels down and he just squirts a little bit into the door frame and He's then like walks in and out away. within like seconds. Seconds. That's boom. all it takes. It just puts it through the door. Boom, boom. So and it's an actual liquid. It's not like a gas. Exactly. It's it's straight up just like a syringe, and it's a clear little vial. Uh, apparently, it was strong opioid painkillers, methadone, and hydrocodone mixed with an unknown noxious element, which is what why they could like smell it. Like and what, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it was ammonia air. or what it was, Holy but shit. whatever it was, whatever it was doing, it was making them physically sick and they had to take their baby to the hospital and they had to go to the hospital multiple times because it was poisoning them. Imagine how scary it is. You wake up one morning and like you have clumps of hair falling what out. What happened to this guy? So here's what happens is apparently they catch the guy. Yeah. This is what he looks like. That was his mug shot. Uh, he was literally deported back to China. They sent him back to China. Where did this happen again? Um, Is it Canada or something? Let's see. It's, ah, uh, you know what? I'm pummeling this person. You're, you're going to hit this guy? Especially I'm going to hit with this your baby. man. Like, your, yeah. your baby's getting sick. Like, I don't know if it ever actually says where. It was just, oh, Tampa. Ah, Florida. Florida, Tampa, man. Florida. 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 Florida man. Wow. Yeah, Florida so. Uh, a little twist on it. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know why. Oh, well, they said it was a uh, the, he's, a noise, noise complaint. Yeah, yeah the, the apparently the the Chinese why guy. Why would you have to say it's a noise complaint? Why can't you just be like, because he's poisoning people? No, no, no. The the Chinese guy was like, was that's why poisoning he was poisoning him? Oh. Because when he's like, as soon as they had a baby, he literally offered to these people to buy them new shoes. So he's just to like help it quiet it down. Why would new shoes quiet a I don't baby? Know. He. No, not, well, not even just the baby. He was like, like walking around. He could hear he them upstairs. Been, like, downstairs. Oh. That's what he said. And it was weird is that multiple times he'd come up and was like really nice and polite to them. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, these noise complaints started. It. He said that their toilet seat was too noisy. He could hear it. And so then he started poisoning them. And then he caught him in the act. And I guess there's uh, apparently. Zhu Ming Li was deported like immediately. And because there's now a warrant out for his arrest, <laughs> if he that? comes into the United States now, there's a warrant for his arrest, but they can't why? do anything because they deported him back to China. Why would they deport him before they... Because he was immediately... Because the apartment manager just knocked on his door and they're like, you're fucking out! And like, yeah. threw him out of the country. Yeah, The landlord did. He yes. deported him so <laughs> <Lord> hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just Landlords are coming him. up yeah. in this world. Just took him to a, like, there's, went to immediately to the beach, put him on a boat, and drove out to the international waters and dumped him. So <laughs> there's there's the video. Around. You can see it takes like three seconds, like you said, Kelsey. He's just in and out. Damn. Just a little and squirt, little, squirt. And his little joggers. Yep. And sure. uh, and that's it. And so, yeah, apparently U.S. immigration freaking took him back immediately, um, which what? is so funny because then – it was like before he was even found guilty. Yeah. Then they found him guilty, and then they're yeah, like, "Well, now oh, there's a warrant well, out yeah. for your arrest." So, do you think he obviously didn't make his date? I, 
Yeah, beats me. Mm. Either way, the US is so dumb. It's very dumb, but also just like, what yeah, the hell, man? The That's family's all right. Up. Like, are they going? Yeah, there, like, they're they're fine. Stuff? They don't know if there's like permanent damage because no Cause one. They don't know what it exactly, is exactly, but like, I'm it's glad that they deported better. him before they got the answer for that. It's better, yeah. Mm. Holy shit! So. Just imagine, seriously, just waking up like. You're feeling sick, whatever. You're like, oh, maybe I'm sick. Like, whatever. Yeah. A few days later, your hair starts falling out. That's, you're, like, really scary. And you're, like, throwing up. Yeah. And you're miserably, like, migraine. It's your, not just your you. stomach. No. But then you're feeling crazy because you don't know where it's coming from. You probably think it was, like, black mold or something. Ugh. Like, a really bad. Yeah. And it said, like, Damn. for, like, months they were changing out filters of things and new air conditioning. They tried so much because they were just, like. Oh, this so, was over months? This was, it like, a long like a time of being poisoned. Oh my God. Because he, he tried fixing what he thought was the issue it no one suspected it was a dude literally injecting poison yeah, in how would, i would never even think to be how like crazy. oh i'm gonna put a camera at my front door yeah. like i would never even think oh my god i know tony you, you said what would you do if this was this man i'm gonna pummel him <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, pummel. he could be the first guy that comes in for your I'm just gonna uh, knock on his door and then when he opens i'm just gonna grab him by his shirt i'm gonna snatch him oh i'm just like <laughs> dork dork <laughs> yeah 